January 31st, Italy had two people. Just over a week later, March 6th, 3,916 cases. Four days later, as of yesterday, it's 10,149 cases. Today, it's up 12,462 cases. The U.S. is right now following almost the exact same trajectory just a week behind. Schools canceled, community centers shut down, and large gatherings suspended. This is how things will be in the containment area of New York City. In country after country, it looks as if life itself has been cancelled. In Paris, in Vienna, in Rome. Malaysian Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin has announced a nationwide lockdown. 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 Hi, this is Simon Leung from SimonLeung.com. Today, we're going to tackle one of the most serious and controversial issues of our time, which undoubtedly has also made the biggest global impact in modern day history as well. It has literally put the entire world on hold, impacting lives, changing plans. I mean, it's definitely changed mine. I was supposed to give you a tour of my new home office studio before filming another video in front of you. But because of this new state of emergency, here I am expediting this very important message to you. It's so controversial that YouTube also vowed to demonetize any videos on this topic. But taking advantage of the situation or making money out of it is not what my channel or I are about. No, I'm not a medical doctor or a scientist. I am neither an expert on this topic in the medical standpoint, nor do I claim to be. We are here to discuss the overall impact on people and you. And the issue? Well, it's important enough to look past all of that and any potential monetary loss. Because now, it's truly become a global epidemic. Many cities and countries, the biggest epicenters in the world, and yes, including YouTube itself, are on lockdown. Even here in Malaysia, where all is normally calm, the spread had been slow and everyone seems to be very nonchalant about the whole thing. We are now also on lockdown. Today, right now, as I'm recording this for you, we are on day one. And from the looks of things, it seems as though I'll be staying right here at home for the next couple of weeks. Travels restricted, events banned, businesses closed, schools on holiday. No one can even get in or out of the country. It's a big deal, affecting all our livelihoods and truly a challenging time for all of us. A test, if you will, on how well we can handle obstacles and a lesson that once learned will be with us to make us better people for the rest of our lives. You know, I've thought long and hard about whether or not to make this video and for weeks I've decided against it because well, I didn't want to exploit it. There are tons of people who are totally taking full advantage of it and exposing this crisis for the wrong reasons. From greedy sellers who are trying to profit by selling masks and sanitizers at ridiculous markups, scammers who send empty boxes, or those who are sick enough to deliver reused stock, to YouTubers who make fun of the situation, comedians who just want to get a few laughs and more fake scammers pretending to be experts or selling the idea of fake cures. It's not funny, not at all. It's life and death, very serious stuff. And yet there are selfish people out there who are truly exploiting this catastrophe, profiting through other people's sufferings, hardships, even loss of life. That's totally disgusting and unacceptable. And I will take no part of that. With that said, because more and more places are going on lockdown. More and more people are getting affected. It's no longer up to me anymore to simply raise my hands and say, I don't want to play, count me out. For the first time, the entire world has something in common. We are in this together. So if you're scared, you're worried, you feel helpless and you don't know what to do, you're not alone. That's a big reason why I'm talking to you today. We are in a unique situation, something the world has never seen before. Late night TV is going on without an audience. Talk show hosts are hosting their shows from home. All the big sporting leagues like the NFL, NBA, MLB, MLS, NHL, NCAA, and all youth sports are suspending their seasons. The Olympics is not looking good. Professional wrestlers are performing in empty arenas. 
they even want to cancel WrestleMania, arguably the biggest sporting event in the world. This is unprecedented. The world has officially shut down. And it goes without saying, if they are canceling global TV shows and professional ventures worth hundreds of millions and closing events that are expecting over a hundred thousand people, being on lockdown here, we are also expected to cancel our own events as well. In fact, at the exact same time frame of our lockdown period, I just so happened to have confirmed two big weekend events in KL and Penang. Both now have to be postponed. Coincidence? Maybe, but the timing is truly uncanny, wouldn't you say? As Murphy's Law states, whatever can go wrong, will go wrong. And that's the situation we're in right now. So yes, this current epidemic has certainly affected businesses. The global economy is suffering. Huge companies are on the brink of bankruptcy. Stocks are tanking. Businesses are not open and people are not working, with many even forced into unpaid leave. Financially, mentally, emotionally, everything is crashing in all at once and we are all taking a massive hit. Undoubtedly, it's truly a disaster, especially if you have no plan B. For me, I'm blessed to have backup plans and online businesses that I can continue to run while being stuck at home. But what about those who don't? Those who were presented with opportunities but never took advantage? Or those who learned but simply never applied? Like I always say, this online skill is no longer just optional anymore. If you don't have it, you will fall behind. And those who do have it, they will either get ahead of you or even use it against you. Now is one of those times that proves this to be true. Because without this skill, that's when you're bored, helpless, hopeless. While those who do have the skill are working on their backup plans as we speak. And those who don't have that skill, they're stuck at home and at the mercy of the virus and government decisions. Yet, there will still be many people who have a million and one excuses. This time, using the same global problem that everyone in the world is also facing. The same one that's causing them the problem. And they're using that as their excuse to not move forward towards their solution. As if it's only happening to them, while all the smart ones leverage on this as an opportunity of time. Instead, they choose fear. They run away. They become ignorant. The world now has become a place of racism. Fights over toilet paper. Violence for uneducated presumptions. Pure ignorance. No logic whatsoever. It's bringing out the worst in people. Well, that's most people. But what about you? Are you sitting there feeling sorry for yourself and using it as an excuse not to move forward? Or do you see the lights at the end of the tunnel and want to find a way out? Do you see yourself overcoming the crisis? Do you even see an opportunity? Perhaps. Look, like I said, we're in this together. Sure, some governments in some countries are nice enough to do some nice things to help their citizens. But not everyone is so lucky. This means we need to do our part to help one another. And that's why for me, in lieu of being able to change lives live in person at my events, and at my two postponed weekend workshops originally scheduled for these two upcoming weekends that we are on lockdown. Instead, I'm going to share some of my money making strategies with you right here. The thing about my methods for making money online with Google and YouTube, pandemic or not, health crisis or not, good times or bad, it will stand the test of time and it will help you. I'm going to do my part and I will continue to deliver value to you right here for free. And I'll even be taking that another step further to bring my regular live mini courses online. So anyone in the world can access. You're welcome. More details on this coming soon. So if this is your first time here, consider to subscribe and tick the bell so you won't miss the announcements and important updates. For now, if you're on lockdown like me, don't waste your time worrying or being scared or even worse, being too lazy to do anything. Use this time as an opportunity to learn new things. Apply your knowledge and plan for a bigger and brighter future. It's time to improve yourself. Not by freaking out, acting uneducated, or hoarding supplies at the supermarkets. All the instant noodles and toilet paper in the world will not save you. The best you can do is prepare, plan, and execute. Yes, we will get through this, 
but even after it's over, there's no guarantee that it will be the end. Do what you need to do in order for you to protect yourself from this right now, as well as any other potential crisis that may happen in the future. Trust me, you'll thank yourself for this later. Or you can even thank me if you want. In the meantime, take care of yourself and your family. Wear your masks, wash your hands, and don't touch anything. Don't shake hands or touch your face. Get away from the crowds, especially those panic buyers. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay in touch. I'll be back soon with more life-changing content for you. Today, for us, is day one. And tomorrow won't be the last. But that's okay. Everything will be fine. Remember, we will get through this together. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you back at the top.